first boy in the mash filming location and the video starts now I'm actually sorry that I have never made it out here before. Alright, so this is the path that they would be driven out to the, the filming site every day down here to and from. But man, they had all this to look at. I'm actually sorry that I have never made it out here before. I uh, don't know what took me so long to get out here. Seriously. Check this tree out, guys. This was hit by lightning. And it's still alive. Um... I don't know about that. I think so. Sketchy. By the way, guys, it is Sunday, April 17th, 2022. It's Easter Day. So comment down below. Let us know what you guys did for Easter. We're obviously out here taking a hike. You know, no pun intended. And if you guys can see, we got our first glimpse of the mash site. You see it right there in the center? Right about, let's see if we can. Well, that's not going to work very well, but right there. That's it. We're just about, you know, to the main site, but everything is really starting to look familiar. I mean, the opening shot, you can see right here, that's where the helicopters around the bend kind of fly past here. Then the helipad would be somewhere over here. Very cool. I think it's is that me or is that a cave over there? Can you guys see that? Here, let me zoom in a little more. This one was actually restored. Yeah, you can go and sit in the seat, take pictures. MASH 407. Man, this is crazy. Look at that. So cool. It's, it's gutted, but you know, it's pretty cool. Look at that. Honey, here. People are tagging up in here, but I'm going to, uh, I'll put a sticker in here. I, I definitely don't do any tagging, but definitely got to leave our mark. Very cool. All right, guys, we finally made it to our spot, to the MASH filming locations. It was, a, it was a, yeah, the hike was a little bit more than what I was expecting, but it's still not that bad. All right, guys, lots of stuff. Well, not a lot, but a few things here to see. Let's do this first. This here is actually the trail to the helipad. This is when you see the opening credits. They're driving the Jeep down here. 
and uh, a couple of the uh, the doctors are holding on to one of the patients that have that is being driven down on the back of uh, the little jeeps that radar drives. So this is that spot. Here is said helipad. Hmm. That would be cool if they were able to mark it or something, make it look like an actual helipad, but I guess uh, Park just wouldn't let him do it. But look at you guys, get that iconic view. Like what you would see at the beginning of uh, each and every episode. So cool. This is one of these places that I've been wanting to do since before I even started YouTube. This was on my my very short list. And we, here we are almost four years later and I'm barely getting to it. I think what had stopped me was the, uh, I think it's a 3.2 mile hike from the, uh, the trailhead. And uh, there's one spot where you uh, you ascend over 200 feet in like 10 minutes, and that's a little uh, it's a little grueling if you're not in shape, to be honest. But look at a few things: ambulance down there, radar's jeep, a couple other little signs. And look, I didn't even notice that you could see the creek back here. It's like right there. All right, so this is what's left of Radar's Jeep. And I think it's unsure if at all or which one of these two vehicles, Radar's Jeep or that ambulance was a uh, screen used. I think if anything, it was that one. I just don't remember which one it was that they were speculating might have been used. But uh, regardless, this is still pretty cool. Now this is a lot smaller in person than I expected it to be. I thought it was gonna be a little bit wider, a little bit longer. I mean, in the TV show you see at times four, even five, full-grown men sitting in there. <laughs> I, mean, I guess it's possible. Let's see what's left of the uh, the motor there. Not very much. But it is uh, at least an accurate motor. It wasn't just thrown there for looks. And so, if you guys can see, we are here. It looks like this was the mess tent. So right there where we just had lunch. That is uh, where the mess tent was. And then, let's see. Um, we have the nurse's tent. <laughs> Hot lips. Uh, she would all, they would all be right over there. The officer's club. Uh, I'm assuming that's where... Uh, where all the guys would be hanging out. You got the uh, swamp, the hospital. Be somewhere out over here. And then the uh, the showers are right here, pretty much where the uh, ambulance is. Very cool. Let's go. Uh, let's go check this out now. Yeah, these things are gutted. Look at if you guys come out here, be careful. There was a little bit of trash in here when we got here, so I pulled that out and threw that away. Very cool. Huh. Wow. Look at the leaf springs on that, guys. They're just gone. Very cool. So, if you guys come out here, 
It's a spot to hold your phone. You can take a picture in front of the uh, iconic sign, which we'll be getting here pretty soon with everybody. <laughs> See what else we got going on here. Yeah, check this out. So you see this pre-op. So I guess the hospital. You got that rock. There it is right there. Isn't that cool? Alright guys, so real quick, everybody knows the iconic intro of the music, right? So, you know, it's very 70s-esque. I mean, it's it's no mistake that what era that is from. It sounds like it's from the 70s. Uh, but, did you guys know that there's lyrics to that song? The name of the song is Suicide is Painless. Yeah, that's right guys, Suicide is Painless. That's the name of the... Uh, the mash theme so if you guys want to that's all you got to uh, look up here on YouTube Google suicide is painless and that's the first thing that pops up listen to that song it's actually a pretty dark song it's uh, not something that you would expect coming from mash or something out of the 70s you know but uh, give that a listen and comment down below all right guys so I think I did mention if not, I'm mentioning it now. This used to be up until 1973, 21st Century Fox. This used to be a movie ranch. So there was other movies filmed here and check this out. There's like remnants of what used to be like a movie house. There's some stairs and a little bit of a foundation. You can see right here, the foundation came out to here. So it was a nice sized little structure, probably like I said, a movie house right here in this location. I'm not sure what movie was filmed here, but uh, it could have been anything. All right, guys, that's gonna just about do it for this episode, but that doesn't mean the adventures have to end here. The YouTube is suggesting that you guys can check out one of these videos right here and that you guys would probably enjoy it. So I'll see you guys in that video. Bartender, Coors Light, please.